to our host pastor, Dr. Cavanis, to the president of the Baptist Ministers Conference of Cleveland and vicinity, and his staff, and to all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, good afternoon. John chapter 19, verse 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. I thirst. You may be seated. It is near the end of Jesus' life, his human life. He knows that the end is near. He has hung on the cross for six hours now. It has become hard for Jesus to even get a breath. Hung from his arms, he must pull himself up. Each time uh, he, wanted, uh, he wants to breathe, uh, he has to pull himself up. His shoulders ache, his mouth is parched, he is exhausted, and yet he does not want to die without a final word. He's, he asks for something to drink to wet his lips from, uh, for his final effort. Later knowing that all was now completed and so that the scriptures would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I'm thirsty. And a jar of wine vinegar was there so they soaked uh, a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of hyssop plant and lifted it up to Jesus' lips knowing that all was now completed and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, uh, he says, I thirst. Amen. Well, what scripture was fulfilled here? Uh, a psalm of lamentation written by David seems to have been fulfilled literally in Jesus. They put gall in, his, in my food and gave me vinegar for my thirst. Oh, yeah. Psalm 69 and 21. Yeah. Apparently Jesus asked for something to quench his thirst in order to fulfill Psalm 69 and 1. Yeah. Well, I shall not keep you long, but I want to know what does the fifth word say to us? I see three things that this word reminds us of. Tell it, tell it. The first one is Jesus' physical humanity. First and probably of greatest importance, Jesus' word, I thirst, reminds us of Jesus' physical nature, uh, his humanity. You see, Jesus hanging on the cross, this was no play acting on the cross. A, di a divine being pretending to undergo a physical act of torture that could not touch him. This was tangible, physical suffering of which extreme thirst is the one element most of us can readily identify with from our own personal experiences. And the second thing is Jesus' awareness of scripture. The second thing he said, I thirst, reminds us of Jesus' extensive knowledge of the prophetic scriptures concerning his suffering and death and his willing to fulfill each of them uh, to the very letter. The best known passage, of course, is the servant Psalms from Isaiah chapter 53. He poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors, for he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressions. Isaiah 53 and 12. He knew it well and referred to it again and again. Jesus' action uh, to ask for a drink is deliberately prompted by his knowledge of scripture. 
and determination to fulfill it. Yeah. And so that the scriptures would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? Yeah. He, he, he says, I'm, I'm thirsty. And I'm almost through. The third thing, Jesus' uh, determination to complete his task. Jesus said, I thirst to strengthen himself and ease his throat so that he might cry out his final words from the cross. Not with a soft voice, not with a low voice, but with a loud voice. He was summoning himself to bring it all to completion. And he cried out, I thirst. Have I got a witness? He said, I thirst. And all during and all through this ordeal that Jesus went through on his way to Calvary, he never complained about anything. He never complained about what they did to him. He seemed to complain about a small matter of thirst when he had not complained about any other discomfort. They falsely accused him, but he did not complain. He had, uh, he had to drag a cross through the streets of Jerusalem, but he did not complain. They nailed his hands without a complaint from him. They nailed his feet. Still no complaint. Yet, yet after enduring all of that, he seems to complain about being thirsty. Daddy, I'm thirsty. You don't mind if I get in eyes on my way to my seat. He said, Daddy, I'm thirsty. I've been through hell. And uh, I haven't been down there yet, but I have been through hell. On my way to Calvary. And I didn't complain not one time about anything that you told me to do. But now, Daddy, I've done all of this. I'm tired now. I'm thirsty now. My mouth is dry now. I'm thirsty, Daddy. I thirst. Can I get a witness here? Well, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But I'm like Jesus. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for Jesus. I'm thirsty for righteousness. He that hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. Have I got a witness? He died. Can I get a witness here? I don't know about you, but he suffered and got thirsty for you and for me. He's all right. He's all right. 